Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 184, Nasdaq's up 37, S&P's are up 14. We have gold up $16.80, silver's up 31 cents, dollar's getting smoked down 863 ticks. We're at 90.745. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see on the right-hand side the Everbank banner. Well, you know what? CPI comes out. We get out there, Mr. Chris Gaffney, the president of Everbank World Markets. And when you hit the Everbank banner, folks, what you're going to see is that the sun's always shining somewhere. Bottom line, I've been talking about this kind of the uh, last couple of weeks, about foreign currencies, about opening a foreign currency account, because this dollar has been just absolutely getting toasted. Well, we're going to follow along with us as we uh, talk to our man, Mr. Chris Gaffney. Chris, welcome back to TFNN. Thanks. Uh, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, too. Big time. Let's make it a great one. You betcha. You betcha. And, and the dollar's certainly starting off the year uh, on, on, a, on a slide, as you pointed out to your, uh, to your listeners. And, you know, the, the amazing part, Chris, is that the, you know, we're at January. And what I've been talking about, I, I'm looking to go back to my homeland island myself. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and so, yeah. And so, you know, I was looking. I says, man, you know, I need the, the euros. That's the bottom line. Um, right. So what I'd love you to do is just explain to folks, you know, what you can do. You know, if you're going on vacation, if you just want to diversify a portfolio, how you can just open a, a, an account and diversify out of this dollar. Now you don't have to diversify everything, but the bottom line is the, how they how how these accounts work. Right. We we think it's smart to have at least a portion of your investments uh, located outside of the U.S. dollar, and and we we make it very easy for uh, for clients to do that. And it's in an FDIC insured uh, bank account. We take uh, U.S. dollars, convert them into whichever currency. We have about 20 different currencies that we offer, and then put that on deposit for you. We can either put it into a, a cash account, which we call our access accounts. We yeah. have uh, liquidity. It's just like a money market uh, denominated in the foreign currency. Or we can we can do CDs. Uh, you know, there's some, some pretty good interest rates around the world uh, when you compare them to the U.S., and, and, uh, uh, and then you get the, the benefit of currency diversification also, and, and that's really the key to these accounts, um, is that you know, they're going to fluctuate in value as the value of the underlying currency fluctuates. Yes. So, uh, for example, last year, one of the best performing currencies, let's take the euro. It, it was one of the best, believe it or not. Yep. Uh, it was up 14.15% um, on the year last year versus the U.S. dollar. So just sitting in a euro, your your return would have been 14.17% compared to just sitting in dollars. So and, uh, even without any kind of interest at all. And so, you know it's so uh, cool. You're not trading it. You say like you know. I'm looking. I'm saying to myself whether it's 10 grand, 20 grand, whatever you you know decide that you'd like to put over there. Uh, it's it's pretty incredible. I mean, and technically, folks, the way that the euro has taken out all its consolidation today is pretty intense because you know looking at this, Chris, we haven't been you know. At these levels, we broke down in 2014, right. but this just ju jumped in its higher range. It's like, you know, the, the euro can be game now to 140, which is, I know it sounds right. a lot, it's, but bottom line, it is what it is. It's really starting to confirm that we are uh, back, you know, we've reversed the, the pattern for the dollar. And, yes. And we were in a uh, an uptrend for the dollar for a long time. There's a lot of dollar strength. And even going into to last year, everyone thought the dollar was going to have a good year again because of the fact that, you know, interest rate differentials, the Fed was raising, everybody else was going to be yep. accommodative, and uh, that was going to force the dollar higher. But we, we've seen the opposite happen. And, right. and um, I think you're going to see, you know, we, we've kind of confirmed it going into 2018 that, you know, this year looks like uh, the dollar is going to continue its slide. And and in fact, we're seeing some, you know, uh, like I said before, the interest rates in some of the countries, not only do you get the, the currency appreciation, but if you go into a, you know, a, a, for example, a South African CD will pay you 4.25% right now for three months. So, you know, that that plus, where was South Africa last year? About 10, 10 uh, over 10% appreciation. So, Amazing. you know, you would have had a 15% return in South Africa last year. So there's some... Like we said, the sun's always shining somewhere, and, yes. and there's always somewhere uh, that can get your money working for you, and, Not, and uh, that that's the key. And, you know, it's real simple, folks. You know, uh, you can give them a call at 855-750-4051. Open the account. Once you get the account open, folks, they have a lot of different vehicles 
that you can diversify the portfolio. And the next one we're going to go into, let's go over to a metals overview because you know it's intriguing here. So picture, Chris, I've had the gold report since 2001. Sure. And the, the biggest acceleration was 2002, of course, to 2011. Um, 2016 was good. 2017 was just all right. This one feels a whole different animal because this dollar is breaking down again. So let's talk metals here. How, did, how does it work with the metals market? And again, we offer, um, you know, we, we have the, the standard coins and bars that, you know, you can get in. And we're going to be competitive there. Uh, it, it's a commoditized industry now. Everybody has them. But where we stand apart from some of our competitors really is in the, in the unallocated side. And, yes. And we, we give the investors the opportunity to invest into any of the four precious metals, gold, silver, platinum, and palladium, uh, with a minimum of just $5,000 um, into a, uh, an account where we'll hold it for you on the unallocated account with no costs or fees. So um, there's just the fee of actually purchasing the metal, and we'll, we'll charge three-quarters of a percent on, on the way in. So it's, it's a very efficient way to hold the precious metals. And, yes. uh, again, no ongoing fees associated with those accounts. So, um, yeah, and, and, you know, they, there were some pretty impressive returns last year. You know, uh, yeah, palladium was just... Uh, hitting, hitting on all. Films. It's eleven forty nine today. Hitting new <laughs> highs, taking out the swing. Exactly. And but you know even gold and silver. I, I think there's some value in silver personally. Yes. Uh, you know going forward, I, I think it's got some real upside. So now, um, and what happens here, folks? This is what's really cool. So you know, for a lot of the listeners, easy. You put five thousand dollars in, ten thousand, fifty, whatever you wanted to put in. But for all you young folks out there. Whatever bank has together, which is really cool, that you can do a hundred dollars a month purchase plan. Yep, that is really a sweet deal, folks. I mean, uh, Chris, for people starting out in the market too, right? I'm glad you brought that up. It, it's it's ideally situated for somebody wanting to establish a position in any of our different products, and and you can do it with currencies or metals. So, nice. You know, it's a hundred dollars a month, um, and you get. The advantage of dollar cost averaging, you, you take the emotion out of the investment because right. we're going to put a set amount into that asset each month um, for you automatically, and so you're, you're not going to be trying to time the markets or saying, oh, it, it, it went up too much. And, and on the, in the long run, dollar cost averaging typically will get an investor into a position at a lower overall average cost uh, yes. because of the fact that you're setting a set dollar amount each month no matter where the price is. So you're buying more when the price is cheap and less when the price is more expensive. So it's, it's a great way to establish a position, especially, like you said, for young, uh, younger investors. Sure. Um, you know, the millennials that want to take a position in, in the precious metals or currencies. And just to give you an idea, folks, okay, so we're at 1339 in gold. Well, the high in 2011 is 1920. So bottom line, it doesn't mean you're going to the highs, but guess what? You know, when Bitcoin can go to 13,000, <laughs> there's no reason that the real deal uh, can't make a run. Uh, the way you do it, you come over to our website at TFNN, folks. You can hit the Everbank banner. You can give them a call at 855-750-4051. Chris, thank you so much for the education. Thanks for the great products. You have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to having you back again. Always a pleasure. Thanks. Thanks so much. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. And these metals are moving, folks. Coming right back.